Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today, we're doing an engine swap on Johnny's go-kart. We were going to go with the original engine that came with it, but by the time I priced out the parts and everything, it was just a couple of dollars more to buy a Harbor Freight Predator engine. They were on sale, so we got a good price. But before we could do that engine swap, we ran into a couple issues. On the throttle cable that came with this unit, this is it right here, we couldn't get the cable through. I have a coat hanger in here and I tried everything. This coat hanger took me forever to get it through. I tried putting an oil in there. I even used a um, trail bit. I used oil in there. I used carburetor cleaner. I pushed it back and forth. I tried reaming it out, but I couldn't get the cable through. And the closest we came to it was this cable over here. Now this is slightly different but we're going to modify this to make it work. You can see on this cable, it had the end similar to what's on the, similar to what's on the lawnmower. But we'll make this work. And another thing, we checked the continuity on this wire to the kill switch over here. We don't have a key, but this wire has continuity in it. We're probably going to replace this with a, what I say? toggle switch okay yeah we're probably going to replace this with a toggle switch unless i could get a switch off for one of the uh old tractors i have laying around in addition to that we went with these harbor freight wheels i have laying around uh, these were left over from a project i was going to use them on but they didn't fit and i just never brought them back and the reason for that if you look at these wheels here these are the original wheels front wheels this doesn't look bad but you can't hear it, but I can feel it over here. These bearings are shot on here. This one's not too bad. But this one here is totally destroyed. So I'm going to be replacing the bearings in here and put the original wheels back on. But Johnny's anxious to get on this go-kart and get running with it. It's true. So, so the first thing we're going to do is work on that throttle cable. Get it set up. We had to take the seat off, by the way, to get underneath. Once that's set up, we're going to mount the engine, hook up the throttle cable, and then we'll play around with the uh, chain, getting it in position uh, with the new clutch that Johnny bought and the new chain. Once I have this set up, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, we have the throttle set up with this cable. Let me show. And what we did over here was just to tie it with a piece of wire and this um, zip tie isn't doing much it's just there and as it goes around we're going to zip tie it to the frame and it comes through this little loop over here now one thing if you're using this predator if you're using this predator engine this nut over here has to be loosened up otherwise it's too tight for the spring to bring it back to the closed position okay let go of the gas john okay see how it comes back if you don't loosen that nut up down there, it won't come back. I'm assuming it's set up that way, so if you're using this engine on another piece of equipment, you know, this will stay in place as you're using that piece of equipment. So that's out of the way. Now, we have the clutch on, and we have this new chain that we're going to have to cut down. But I'm having an issue. If anyone knows about what to do with this, this chain isn't... This chain isn't lined up with the clutch and the sp and the sprocket, and it's all the way out. I know you could buy spacers to put behind here, but even if you put a spacer behind there, this is all the way out now. And as far as the bracket that the engine goes on, the slots let the engine go back and forth so you could tighten it, but it doesn't have any motion this way. So I don't know if... The original engine on here had a longer uh, had a longer shaft, and that's what the issue is, or something else is going on. So if any of you have this setup, this is a Murray go kart with a Predator engine on it. Mm -hmm. If you ran into this issue and you have a remedy, please post it down below. I like to get that straightened out. Now we're going to measure this chain. And we're going to remove some of the links. And the way I'm going to go about that, I don't have the tool to remove the link. Johnny, could you tap that for me, the camera? Just. So what I'm going to do after I measure it, I'm just going to use a grinder to remove some of the pin, 
surface and then I'm just going to use a punch to punch it through. I'll get a couple of big nuts to lay this on and I could push it through like that with a thin punch. Now if you don't have a grinder and you're in the same situation I'm in, you could just get a file and file this down somewhat and then punch it through. You may even be able to do this without taking some of this uh, material off, but I'd rather take some off not to do any damage to the links. So once we get this chain apart, put it back together with the master link, tighten up this engine, get the seat back on. Johnny's gonna take this for a ride and see how it performs. All right, I use the grinder. The grinder's down somewhat. I have a nut under here so I could push that pin through. And I'm just gonna use a punch. There's the hammer jack. Oh, uh, right here. Okay, I'm just gonna use a regular punch. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll start it with this. Just to get it started. Okay, you can see it went down a little bit there. Now I'll use this punch. Uh -oh. Maybe I should have ground it down a little bit more. Yeah. What do you think, John? A couple more guys. Hmm. Huh. that big one again. Oh, it's going down. It's going down a little. There we go. Went through now I have the skinnier punch. I believe this will fit in there. Yep, this will fit in there. Get it all the way through. Have this other nut, give it a little space. You're smart. Okay, that, pop, that one's out. Wait, you gotta take all these out? No, no, oh. no. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it now. Actually, it was just the one I had to take out. Here's a mess up I made. I wasn't sure of the space, so I'm gonna leave this one for now, just to make sure I'm gonna go remeasure it. But if I have to take this out, I'll be doing the same thing. Why was I taking two out? Turn oh. it off? Yeah, you could turn it off. Mm. All right, we have the engine mounted. We have the chain cut to size, and it's on the clutch and the socket, so that's set. The throttle cable's ready to go. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to remove this pull start, because the way it is right now, you have to pull it into the seat. So we're going to take it off, and we're just going to flip this around, so when we go to start it, we're pulling towards the back and not towards the seat. And another adjustment we're going to make... This engine comes with a low oil sensor, which when the oil level goes to a certain level, it kills the engine, it shorts it out. Now, this being a go-kart bouncing around, I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem. With it splashing around in there, it may read that the oil level is low and kill the engine. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect it, hook up the kill wire that goes to the kill switch so if there's an emergency and he has to shut the engine down, he can shut it off from the seat. Once I finish with this, we're gonna put the seat back on, put air back in these tires, and Johnny's gonna take it for a spin. All right, we have it all together now. And Johnny's got my uh, 1968 football helmet on. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing now, John? We turn the choke on to start. Okay. And then we turn the gas on. All right, and that lets the gas go into the carburetor. On? Yeah, you leave that on. 
All right. We just shut that off when we're not using it so it doesn't now flood. Now we turn this on. Okay. Pull it a few times oh, to prime it. Pull, to, uh, pull it straight up. Okay, a couple One, times now. Two. Now. Okay, go ahead. Well, I tell you, if nothing else, this predator engine starts right up. Give us some gas. Happening here. Hmm. Now we we have the clutch slipping over here for some reason. Let's see what's going on. Uh, it's stalled. Uh, oh, because we left the um choke on. Oh, you had the choke on. Okay, we had a little goof up here. Get outside. You say there. All right, turn the choke. On. Okay, we left the choke on. In our excitement. That... Hmm, what's going on? All right, turn this away now. You didn't turn that switch, did you? No, it's okay. On. Okay, give it gas now. Let's see. Oh, chain came off. Okay, you gotta kill it. Kill it with the kill switch. What? Kill switch. No, because I'm trying to kill it. Don't go ahead. It just drops it out. We had the chain pop off over here, and I thought this might have been a problem. This thing just isn't lined up the way it should be. Again, if anybody has any idea on how to get this chain over, let me know. Post it in the comments down below. We're going to put this back on and try it one more time.